How is your nervous system? Our nervous system plays such a foundational role that it actually dictates how we think, how we feel, how we act, and even how we relate to other people. So it is so important not only to understand how important our nervous system is, but also to begin to understand what state our nervous system is in, especially before making any important decisions or having any difficult conversations. So today, I'm gonna to teach you exactly how to do that. As you're listening, it'll also be helpful for you to begin to understand other people's nervous system states so that then you can decide when to engage with them or when it may be better for you to take some space. So first, each of us has what is called a zone of tolerance. And really simply, this is just a term that's used to describe this zone of arousal, an ideal state where we feel calm, where we feel grounded, where we feel connected, and ultimately where we're able to function the most efficiently and effectively, or really simply where we're able to thrive. Now, of course, when we face a stressful experience, an upsetting experience, an overwhelming event, many times we naturally leave this zone of tolerance. And then we have different ways or different states in which we enter. We can enter a state that's called hyper arousal, or we can enter a state that's called hypo arousal. And then sometimes we can quickly kind of bounce back and forth between these two states. So now I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna go through a checklist describing each of these states, including our window of tolerance so that you can begin to identify the signs in yourself. So the first state we're gonna talk about is hyper arousal. Now this is a state when our body is really activated. A lot of times you can even feel the energy running through our, our bodies. And now here are some signs that your body might be in a state of hyper arousal. First sign, you might not be able to think clearly. You might notice that when you go to speak or to share something, you feel overwhelmed, you start crying, you can't get your words out. Another sign, you might notice you have racing thoughts, maybe very panicked feeling thoughts in your head. Another sign is with all this energy running through your body, a lot of times you simply, you can't sit still. You feel like you're crawling out of your skin. And then a final sign is you might feel overwhelmed, you might feel angry, right? You might feel an explosive emotion. So now let's explore what your window of tolerance is. Right? This is a calm, grounded state. Here are some signs that you might be in your window of tolerance. The first sign is you can actually think clearly. You feel relaxed, at ease. You feel grounded, you feel present. You also can laugh, you could take a joke, you can be playful, you can have a moment of spontaneity. Final sign is you're able to make a calm, grounded, maybe logical, maybe rational decision. Now we're gonna explore hypo arousal. This is a state where comparing it to hyper arousal where you're really activated, hypo arousal, you're really shut down. You might even be zoned out. So here are some signs that you might be in hypo arousal. You might feel stuck, right? You can't move. You couldn't even get up if you wanted to. You might notice that you have low energy. You might feel tired. You might feel lethargic. You might feel unmotivated. Another sign is you typically feel disconnected. Sometimes you feel disconnected from yourself. You dissociate, you feel numb, you feel out of body. And a lot of other times you feel disconnected from other people or even the world around you. You feel like the world's not real. So it is very helpful to begin to notice throughout the day which of these states your nervous system is in. Because naturally throughout the day, we're gonna leave our window of tolerance. We might shift into either of these two states. And the more aware we can become of the state our nervous system is in, the more we give ourselves the opportunity to intentionally make choices so that we can keep ourselves or return as quickly as possible to that beautiful window of tolerance. So a quick sign that you are beginning to leave that window of tolerance for most of us is you start to feel agitated. You start to feel irritable. You start to even feel frustrated. You start to notice this energy inside of you shifting, which usually gives you a sign 
that you're shifting from that calm, grounded state into either, again, hyper arousal or into hypo arousal. When you notice you're leaving your window of tolerance, you then give yourself the opportunity to intentionally keep yourself in that window. Or if you've already left and maybe you're listening right here, right now, and you notice signs that you're either in that state of hyper arousal or hypo arousal, you can intentionally make choices right here, right now to help you regulate yourself or simply to bring your nervous system back into that window of tolerance. So how can you do this? The two main ways to stay or return to your window of tolerance, moving your body actually can help your nervous system regulate itself. When we feel ourselves leaving our window of tolerance, it can be helpful to simply get up, stretch our legs, stretch our back, take a gentle walk, or maybe just shake our body, maybe even in a sitting position, shake our arms, shake our, shake our legs, and begin to release the energy, begin to stimulate our energy, begin to help our body again return back to that calm, grounded, and regulated place. You can also use different breathing practices. And I talk a lot about a practice called box breathing. Box breathing, and I can link a video that I've done on box breathing, a quick how-to. It is a quick way, a quick intentional breathing practice that can help you, again, regulate through breathing, bringing your body back into that zone of tolerance. I hope this video helps, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. As you're listening, even right here, right now, what are you noticing? What state is your nervous system in? Are you in your zone of tolerance, your window of tolerance? Or maybe you're in hyper arousal, or maybe you're in hypo arousal. I'd love to hear what state you're in and also what you found helpful. What is helpful for you to get back in to that zone of tolerance? Leave it in the comments below.